Recently, I chatted with NBA All-Star and huge NBA 2K fan John Wall, and he told me about his skunk rule. But don't worry, guys. Doesn't smell. Hey guys, I'm Rachel, and in case you didn't know, today is the very last regular season episode of NBA 2K TV. I've been loving your highlight submissions all season long, so let's start off this show with our top 10 countdown. Yeah, I agree. I mean, now's when they need a little spark anyway. Smith kicks the tee. It's good. The assist any time. Recently, I had a chance to chat with NBA All-Star and huge NBA 2K fan, John Wall. And he told me about his skunk rule, and I'm thinking that we should add it to NBA 2K16. I'm here with John Wall today. You've been in the 2K family for a while also. Yep. <laughs> I just always play against my friends. Like we always got tournaments going on at my house and a lot of trash talking to see who can be the best. So and uh I'm the champion in my house. You are? Yeah. Do you have like a whiteboard of like who's winning? No. No. <laughs> you just know who's getting blown out, and then when you lose by 20, it's like a skunk rule. You can't lose by more than 20 in the game. So you just stop the game? Yeah, like if it's like second quarter and you have 21, the game's completely over. You don't play no more. That's cool. I kind of like that. I need to start using that when I play. Yeah. Because I'm the one who's down 20. Oh, uh, well, you not? You might not want to use it if you're down 20. <laughs> Do you remember the first time that you were ever introduced into the game? Yeah, my rookie year. It was fun. It was exciting to have an opportunity to see myself and get to play with myself when I'm playing against my friends. Do you remember what you looked like? Yeah, I was a young kid, 19, with no facial hair. Uh, looked like a baby face, so it's totally different than what I am now. And probably more, like, computerized But Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> up to date like it is now. It looked more real, more realistic now. And now I have some stats about your player in NBA 2K15, and they're pretty impressive. You, um, you're an 88 right now, which you were an 81 when you started, but from our development team, they said it's now much harder to get higher ratings. So do you think about your rating at all? As long as I can play the way I play in games, it's fun and exciting to me. Some people get upset they're not rated like a 98, 99, but you gotta improve your game every year to get a high rating. It's way tougher now. I think our top player is like a 96, so it's like... I think that's more realistic. Y'all making it more fun. Uh, I think in the past games, they'd be like 99. you like, I have no chance to win. When I'm playing against yeah. a certain player, but now uh, the high is like 96, 94, and 88 is pretty cool, so I'm excited with it. Yeah. Your block rating is 27 points over the average point guard. Did you learn how to block, or is it more of like an athletic skill? Uh, I think it's kind of timing. I mean, it's athleticism brought into it, but uh, it's a lot of time, and you gotta have the opportunity to know you might get dunked on sometimes, so I take the opportunity to try to chase down a lot of blocks. And it's more exciting when I'm a small guard blocking a big man shot. So yeah. I get excited for him and I, and I talk junk to him when I do it. So yeah, it's kind of all of that <laughs> combined in one. So tell me about your my career player. I like to play as a point guard. I like to be it because when you do those my careers, if you're not the point guard, you don't get the ball as much. You got to wait till the computer passes to you. So I like to be able to control the offense, control things, and try to dictate and get my team's wins like I do in real life. So who is the person who is your biggest competitor in NBA 2K, of your NBA player friends? 
Paul George. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty tough. Like uh, with him, when you go to his house and play him, he got rules. When you get beat by 20, 21, you got to stand next to the, the TV and take a picture. Oh. Yeah, like that's his house rules. So. <laughs> I got lost by 21 once to him, and I beat him by 21 once. So. So it's the pick of shame. Yeah. So what would be your one tip for players who may want to be better blockers in real life? Basketball. Uh, for one, you can't be scared to get dunked on. It's going to happen if you're a shot blocker. And a lot of mine come from the help side. Like, I see a guy going up for layups and kind of like how LeBron does, chase people down and block shots and just got to have a lot of time with it. Do you block at all in NBA 2K? But no, I don't block too many shots of myself. It's, it's tough to block with the real shot blockers, like the big man in the game, so it's very tough to do it with the guards. I saw recently that you went bowling at the White House. Yeah. No? You didn't like it? <laughs> When they said bowling at the White House, we thought we was going to bowl with the president. We thought we was going to have, like, yeah. nice super bowling lanes. It wasn't, like, up to date. Like, they, they had, like, now you got the scoreboard that keeps scores. We had to keep scores on our own paper. Like, Oh, really? Yeah, so it wasn't, <laughs> it was great. It was a great opportunity to be able to go in the White House and say I bowl there. Right. But that's one of my favorite activities to do when I have free time is to go bowling. Oh, cool. So have you met the president before then or no? Yeah, I met him. I went to his Easter egg hunt thing before that he has at the White House. We're shooting around with some of the kids. He missed like 12 straight shots. <laughs> oh, man. But he can play, though. He can play. Maybe he was like a little nervous. nervous in front of the kids or something. I think he was. Do you think he's good at 2K? I, I don't know. I haven't seen him play yet, so I would have to see him. Cool. Have some fun. High five. Trailblazers keep it alive. Lillard dishes to Batum. Back to Lillard. Oh, and here comes Iguodala all alone. Tip, but this is how you completely rattle the ball. Last week, we showed you how to do Kyrie's signature size up, and this week, we're headed back to the gym to show you some moves by James Harden and Jamal Crawford. It's time for another 2K TV Handle Life presented by Sprint. I'm back with Johnny Stephine, and now we're going to go into a move that James Harden likes to do. This one's pretty tricky, but I yeah. think we got it, right? Yeah, we got it. This is how we're going to do this move. James Harden, what he does is he starts off with his left hand, he cross over between the leg to a snatch back, then cross over between the other leg with another baby crossover set up, steps back, then he hops into a push crossover, attacks the rim, and then a step back. This is what it looks like, 10%. Everybody on your couches and all your beds do this with me. So it goes right here. Left hand, cross over between the legs, snatch back, cross over here, step back, cross over. So a step back jump shot. All right, so now my turn. <laughs> Walk me through it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, ball in the left hand. So cross over between the legs to a snatch back. Right, pause it right there. Then you're gonna do a crossover between the other legs, pause it. Boom, then a baby switch crossover, a pound step back, then a hard crossover, attacking the rim into a step back. Show us 10%, Ray. Ready? Go. Good. Good. Good, Ray. Step back, that's perfect. Let's go to the hoop. Yeah. Jamal Crawford. 
Let's break it down. Yes, this is the Jamal Crawford. What you're gonna do is start with your right hand. You're gonna between the legs. First step is the between the legs. You gotta make sure you're stepping the opposite directions that you're gonna go. So you step between the legs and wrap it behind the back and snatch it with your right hand. Make sure on your snatch that you're lunging out so you can fake defender out like you're gonna go to the basket. Chest low, snatch it back. This is 10% of it. Start out with your right hand. Between the legs here, snatched. Cool, now it's my turn. Now let's go, now let's teach Rachel how to do it. Start with the right hand. Good, good. to do James Harden and Jamal Crawford's moves on the court. Yes, make sure you guys hashtag 2KTV Handle Life. Submit all your videos so we can check them out and feature them on the show. Hey guys, Mike Wang here, and I'm going to teach you how to get scores like Jamal Crawford and James Harden open using the give and go. With Harden as the ball handler, Press and hold the pass button. This will pass the ball to a teammate, but you'll keep control of Harden. Now it's the go part of the give and go. So make a quick cut to the basket, flare out to get open, or cut to the basket for an alley-oop. When you're open, let go of the pass button and your teammate will pass the ball back to you. Give it a shot, guys. With the NBA postseason underway, we thought it'd only be right to simulate the playoffs. So let's check it out. If you guys think there's going to be any sweeps in the first round of the playoffs, so tweet me your predictions using the hashtag 2KTVSweeper. Struggling in the first quarter, he's come alive here in the second. Well, he's making a switch here. Napier's checked in. Here's money. Wow, oh, that. incredible. Like I said at the top of the show, this is the last regular season episode of NBA 2K TV. But don't worry, guys, we will still be around for some very special NBA 2K TV postseason shows. And if you guys want to check out past episodes with more tutorials and player interviews, remember you just hit the options button and then past episodes. I will see you guys soon.